Alright, so how you all doing today? It's me, it's Money Minter 75 guys, I'm back for another video and I'm delighted to say we are back for another match day vlog. Let's get into this. <music> guys, as I said in the intro there, it's the first time in almost two years that I've been able to bring you a match day vlog. We're playing Ross County today at Easter Road. It's got all the makings of a really, really good game of football. Um, got to be honest, I'm really, really excited about it. I think I'm just really excited to be going back to Easter Road uh, on League Matters. Obviously, I have been uh, back to Easter Road since everything kind of started relaxing with the pandemic and everything like that. Um, I did go to the games against Santa Coloma and uh, the game there against Riker, I want to say, there on Thursday night. Uh, I was going to do match day vlogs for them, but unfortunately, um, in and amongst, obviously, looking after... Uh, looking after my daughter and uh, I was quite poorly unfortunately as well I ended up in the hospital uh, for a couple of days unfortunately as well um, so uh, it was a wee bit difficult to try and to put everything back together and to be honest vlogging was the last thing on my mind trying to obviously get uh, these things uh, in order first um, but as I say you know today's completely different uh, as I say we're going back to Easter Road today on League Matters First time in almost two years that that's been able that we've been able to say that it's just fantastic. Um, I'm really really excited about today. Uh, as I say, it's got the makings of a really good game of football. Um, Ross County, we can't really discredit them too much. You know, obviously we've done that last season where we thought we were going to absolutely steamroll them and they came back and butt us in the arse quite substantially. I think they beat us two 0 I want to say two three 0 whatever it was. And just as I say. <sighs> I mean, we, we uh, underestimated them. I hope that doesn't happen again today um, because, to be honest, I mean, last week against Motherwell, we were absolutely fantastic. We showed a lot of guts and determination last week against Motherwell. And what is a really good Motherwell side, by the way, coming behind twice the way that we did and obviously winning 3-2, it uh, showed a lot of character. It showed a lot of guts as well. So, I mean, we have got a lot going for us just now. Um, as I say... Ross County is going to be a different proposition today. I think having Malky Mackay in charge, you know, listen, love him or hate him at the end of the day, Malky Mackay is a good manager. I know, obviously, he's had a wee bit of a shady past with, uh, he's had, you know, a couple of issues with racism and things like that. I am here to say um, whether that's right, wrong, whatever, it's 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 not for me to get involved in. Um, so, I mean, he is a good manager. Has he improved Ross County? Pfft. To be honest, at the end of the day, only time will tell whether he's improved them or not. Um, so, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see. But, I mean, predictions at this point, I'd be honest enough to say, if you were to hand me a 2 0 win, I would absolutely be delighted uh, with a 2 0 win. But we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but anyway, let's get to the stadium. Let's cheer on the hips. Come on.
Right, here we go. What can we say about that game of football, eh? Uh, first off, it was brilliant to be back at Easter Road today. Uh, absolutely brilliant to be back on League Matters. Uh, it was really, really good for me to be back filming. It just it felt amazing to be back filming. And uh, being back in the East certainly helped the day as well. It's, it was brilliant to be back. Second of all, it was brilliant. It was br Honestly, I'm, I'm struggling to even think of the words to just say how good that first half performance was today. We were outstanding in that first half. Absolutely outstanding. I am going to go as far as to say that was the best, fir best first half performance I've seen for a Habs team in donkey's years. We were absolutely phenomenal in that first half. I know I've heard a lot of Habs fans kind of moaning, well, moaning, moaning, you know, when I've been coming home and seeing things on social media saying, you know, why couldn't we do that for the whole game and things like that. But let's be honest, Ross County knew they were beat. They came out in that second half and it was damage limitation. They changed their game plan up substantially. It was almost like they were playing with 11 men behind the ball for the whole second half. I'm not denying that there was a couple of moments in the, in the second half where they ventured forward and caused us... I wouldn't even say they caused us any bother, to be honest, but they ventured forward. But, I mean, on the one hand, yes, we could... Beg your pardon, that's just a, a thing came through on my phone there, beg your pardon. Uh, on the one hand, we uh, we took foot off the gas. It has to be said, we took foot off the gas. But on the sec on the other hand, we were, we were phenomenal. You know what I mean? We had done all the hard work in the first half. There was no reason for us to chase the game. There was no reason for us to go about chasing what was a, a, a game that we'd already won. Bear in mind, you know, obviously we've got a really important game coming up on Thursday. I think game management today was absolutely brilliant. I have to say that's one thing about Jack Ross. That Well, Jack Ross, this season anyway, I know that you can only really count a couple of games, obviously being the European ties and, and the, the two league games, but his game management has certainly improved. Uh, I think I think game management has improved. You know, we 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 were good today. We were phenomenal. Um, Jay Doyle Hayes, I thought had a really really good game. Jamie Murphy and Josh Doy on the on the left hand side, I thought were causing Ross County all sorts of problems today. They had a field day in that first half. Uh, Paul McGinn had a good second half, uh, introducing Danny McGregor at the start of the second half, I think actually it was a really good move as well, because I think everybody just kind of calmed down a wee bit, you know, no disrespect to Paul Hanlon, I don't know whether or not he was still struggling a wee bit for that head knock that he took on Thursday, because obviously he had to get bandaged up again the day as well, but to me there was just times when he was on the ball, you could kind of hear everybody going, oh, I'm really sorry, that's another notification came through, I'm really sorry. Um, but you could kind of hear people kind of, no wincing, but just like, because he was making, no, I wouldn't even say he was making errors, but he just didn't see himself. I mean, maybe that's just me, maybe I'm just being over, maybe I'm just being over harsh, I don't know. But I mean, honestly, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm struggling to pick any negatives out of that performance today. Really, really struggling to pick any negatives out. Um, as I say, I thought we were phenomenal start to finish. Uh, and as I said after the match as well, because I've done a wee quick interview for the Strong Hibs Opinion podcast um, as well. I've uh, done a wee quick interview for them and I says the day and I, I've, I've went on record as they say, I, I can see this Hibs team splitting the all fun this season. I didn't think Rangers and Celtic are as, as good as what uh, they're making themselves out to be, especially Rangers. You know, we saw that yesterday that... They didn't seem to cope very well with the pressure of people being back in the stadium. I'm not denying that you know they had a good first game back at Ibrox last week, but that was to be expected. But over the weekend, well, over the whole sort of time of yesterday, um, you know, when you looked at like social media pages and things like that, their fans went into absolute meltdown yesterday at the fact that's the first time in 17 months they've been beat. But their fans went into absolute meltdown. You know what I mean? Saying that I heard one guy saying that he thinks Steven Gerrard should be sacked. I mean, what the fuck's that all about? The guy's done an amazing job. I mean, I, I'm as big a hub supporter as you'll meet, but even I can appreciate what a good job Steven Gerrard has done. Um, so, they're not as good as what they think they are. Celtic are really, really poor. I don't think they've strengthened at all um, from probably leading up to last season, even to the season before. 
I just didn't see where they've strengthened. Granted, they had a big result today, but I mean, that was against Dundee. You know what I mean? And Dundee were doing to 10 men for a long time as well, so I wouldn't really count that as a serious result. But I mean, splitting the old firm is definitely an achievable target for Hibs this season. Whether we go far in the, the European Conference League or whether we do well in the cup competitions, it's yet to be seen. But splitting the old firm, I think, is a definite, definite achievement uh, that we can definitely achieve. It is very much achievable. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I'm not going to walk away at the end of the season with egg on my face, but we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it there just now, guys. Thanks very much for watching. It's really, really, I'm so happy to be able to bring you another match day vlog. Uh, honestly, it really helped me out the day actually going away and filming and just doing what, um, doing what I know. Uh, really, it was, it's really, really good for me. It's good for my mental health as well. So, I'm really, really happy. Fingers crossed. Hopefully now that's us now over the worst of things. We'll get back to mere match day vlogs and hopefully, you know, that's that's definitely going to be, I think, the future. Hopefully more match day vlogs and we'll see how it goes for there. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please hit that bell icon. Uh, just start that back again. Please hit that bell icon beside the subscribe button. That will let you know when I upload. That being said, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you next time. On to Croatia, lads. Let's do it. Oh, 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 oh,